Hey guys, and welcome to the Gulf Coast Explorium, the place to be for fun science. I'm Amanda. And I'm Colin, and we're joining you today for one of our newest and coolest exhibits, Explore Tech. Here, we focus on engineering and technology. And we've heard that you guys are coming to see us soon to practice and learn one awesome program called SolidWorks. SolidWorks is a computer-assisted drafting software that allows us to create three-dimensional objects just like the ones that you see here. And what does this have to do with you, you may ask? To answer that, we'd like to introduce you to our good friend, Trey, a volunteer here at the Explorium and a current student just like you. Hey guys, I've used SolidWorks for a lot of really cool projects. To know the ins and outs of the program, first you've got to know the SolidWorks lingo. The three options of what you can create in SolidWorks are a single part, an assembly, which is many parts, or a two-dimensional drawing. To make any of these in SOLIDWORKS, it's important to know your way around planes, and we're not talking a lot about the ones you fly in. We're talking about flat surfaces. Any three-dimensional object has multiple planes. Right, guys? Right, but here's a question for you guys out there. So we just saw a large cube, which is a 3D object with multiple planes. But say our object is a lot smaller, and something we're more used to seeing. Like this. Normally, to take measurements, we would use a ruler or a tape measurer. But with something like this, it can be more tricky to get a good measurement, as you can see. That's right, Amanda. And we know accurate dimensions are very important anytime you design something, but especially here in SOLIDWORKS. Now, there are many ways to take measurements. But we do have one tool here in ExploreTech that makes things a little bit easier. For near calipers are tools that have two sliding scales. These move and they allow us to measure the diameter of both interior and, as you can see here, exterior points, as well as having a depth tool found at the bottom. Plus, we can take and read the dimensions in either metric or English. Since these tools are incredibly precise, they are actually used in the real world by engineers and other professionals. So with everything that you guys have just learned, we've come up with a good challenge for you. Find different ways to take measurements of some everyday objects you find around you in your classroom or at home, like we have here. A coffee mug, a tape dispenser, a screwdriver, or even your own computer mouse. Once you guys come to see us, we'll see how your measurements matched up. And remember guys, accurate measurements are very important. But most importantly, have fun. We're very excited to see you guys soon.